while I'm doing it, I can only generate so much force. If I do it while forcing her back out of my space, okay. what is that making her do? Back, back up, retreat. panic, retreat, have to rethink her mindset, okay? So now, um, law enforcement and military teach something called the OIDA method, O-I-D-A. Observe, interpret, decide, and act. act, action. Okay, this happens all the time. You do it every single day of your life, you don't even realize it, okay? You observe something with your eyes, your brain interprets what you are seeing, you decide what you're going to do, and then you're going to act on it, right? Okay, so if Christy's the bad guy, and she's in my face, okay, she's got all this fear and intimidation on me, she's already on act. She's on act while I'm observing what's happening and deciding what to do. She's four steps ahead of me. I need to break her action. I need to break her loop. I need to be able to have such ferocious action that I force her to go back to observe and interpret. And while she's observing and interpreting, I'm creating windows of opportunity to run away. The statistical distance for safety and running is what? You said it before, guys. Who's been here? 12 yards. 12 yards is the statistical distance you need to stay safe. Now, that doesn't mean you run 12 yards and stop. That means that in our society, as long as you are not being the crazy person that runs off into the woods, okay, you, it's 12 yards is the distance you keep before they're going to be able to catch you before you can get to some type of help. Okay? So, and remember, statistics are based on knowledge, but not always the, the guarantee. All right, Question. so we're thinking about, yes, ma'am. So if you can get 12 yards away from the culprit. And keep going. And keep going, then you stand a good chance that the person you're, cannot yes, catch st you. Statistically, you're in a better situation. Okay. Even now, if other things, a faster runner than well, other you? things fall into that. Okay. Yes, there's a possibility with okay. respect because you are um, an experienced woman. Oh, um, well, I want to say experienced, <laughs> be nice. Um, yes, yeah. that does change. Now your statistics start yeah. to change a little bit. But 12 yards is basically the safety number we try to work with. Because then you're running. What are you doing? You're not running just going, all right, cool. No, I'm doing the best. You're running. Can. You're running. You're going, help, help. You're looking for help, right? Okay. All right, so now we're going to strike. We've all swung the hammer before. Remember, the idea is striking in a circular motion. If you look, I'm turning my hips. I'm turning my feet. And I'm coming here. Now, there's lots of different places I can use this strike, and we'll get to that in a minute. I don't want it tight. I don't want to do this. I want to rotate as I do it, okay? I want to turn my body as I'm doing these strikes. Does that make sense? Yes, now, this is the easy way, and then we'll also do it a little bit more advanced, so that way you can just start to see some different angles. Does everybody understand? Yes, sir. Look at my back foot. If I want to think about... Body, I could do this, but if I want to be efficient, I want to use my hips, my shoulders, I want to pivot, I want to turn every time I strike. That makes sense? Sure. It's a simple, simple strike. That's all we want is simple, right? Sure. We're not sitting here going, let's do this and let's do all this stuff. And 